my question was like, well, you, did, did you know in Japan right now, like, you know, we see Poland as like super pro Japan. And there's a, like the, a lot of the young people are in love with Japan. That is true, but like, you know, well, not at all. Like, the problem is we see Poland as like super pro Japan. Like, they, they love Japan, Japan, but it's not that true because Poland is still coming back. They have their own kind of recovery. Too. Recovery because until 89, 1989, they were you know under the you know, like communist mm. regime. Yeah, basically before Solidarność, before the fall of the Soviet Union in Poland, and go. then overall in other countries, they were still under the socialist system yeah, of government. So we are in still like in a period of adjustment. Recovery. Say, recovery. It is. It is. It will take another like, generation, I think. It is. It's going. It's going to take more time for them to understand what's going on outside and also like uh, interested in other culture I think. How does this tie into their interest in Japan? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But like I'm do start doing a YouTube and then a lot of people saying yeah I heard like a poem and they they love Japan, right? Or like you know those like uh, in Japanese we say shinichi and the kind yeah, yeah. you know very and nichi is always in Japan it's like uh, they're kind to Japan. Oh okay. It is true, like some some community exists. They're so keen on Japanese culture, or, you know, Japanese people, Japanese language. Well, Japan. for example, I went to uh, actually two different conferences. One you were at, the, uh, the Japanese automotive companies who are investing in Poland. Another was about the future of the EU-Japanese free trade agreement. And they had some case studies of two Polish companies which traded in Japan. And for example, when Poland trades with Japan, uh, there's of course certain pitfalls and troubles and everything. And when Japan invests in the U in not the US, in Poland, you see kind of the difference in culture as well as expectation. And funnily enough, this is just an anecdote. There was one Japanese person who has been working in uh, the south of Poland in a either Toyota or something, some uh, automobile company. And he said the reason Japanese automotive companies invest in Poland is because Poland is the cheap source of labor. And everyone in Poland, in that room, every Polish person was like, oh, we are not, we are, we are, we are middle, we are not low, we are not low labor, we are a middle ground, you know. Uh, but I think that it's partially true that the labor here is cheaper, the quality of work is good, but the labor is cheaper than in Japan, so it's attractive. To, to be, be for them to be here. I think that's why we are doing this like huge campaign for like, you know a visit the Poland thing. Yeah, right? Poland will be important for Japanese industry, I think. But more like a geographical like reason because it's the middle of Europe. And labor is very cheap. <laughs> it's like that. And it's strategically, it's very important. Like in Poland, is very important for America too because there's so many American bases here. Yes, actually, I mean bases. It's recalling the use of buffer states. Yeah, yeah buffer state. That's the word. There's a buffer zone. Yes, a buffer, state. a buffer state is in the buffer zone. As in, like, because oh yeah, for Russia, right? And yes, I don't know how political you want your vlog to be, <laughs> but that's what's happening now. This yeah, I, I think uh, in my vlog, is, I try to be as stupid as it can be Just and make it funny. It, make it funny, but like, I'm a very critical person also. Something not right. I want to speak up. Yes. But maybe not in this channel. Maybe I'm gonna. I want to create a, another channel, mm -hmm. and I, I talk only like you know very <laughs> smartish thing. You know? yeah, just, just being a smartass. Very smartass. And so this is like announcement. Like you know, I'm gonna create more other channel. This guy is making another channel. Oh, I, I heard you might be doing a channel in the future. It's something like that. Very yeah, subtle. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like I was thinking about it because I think my channel is in the, out of the point. Like I should start doing new things because yes. like you know I got the because you got the fan base and I need the direction. There you go. So far I did something like very silly, you know, yes. like a social experiment or just asking and treating people. But like I want to, I want to share my thoughts and in the internet, like and what I think about, like and stuff like that. And then like if you're into th those kind of things, like we can do it together totally. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's do that yeah. side of make, make a vlog about it. You know, just about the Pope. Yeah. I, I, my dream is to get a picture of me high-fiving the Pope. <laughs> that would never happen unless like you're gonna be a photoshopper because he does this, right? And yeah. Like, just... And then I go up. I'll be like, excuse me, can I get a picture? He's like. Yes, and then <laughs> I say, alright. Probably right. you're gonna be taken down by this piece. Anyway. No, I'll ask him, like, can I have a picture of me and you high-fiving? And he's like, what's a high-five? <laughs> <laughs> what they call it in... Um, in Polish? In Polish. 
Polish is a piątka. Piątka. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Piątka. One, two, three, four, five. In Poland, the Pope is still John Paul II. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's People still the Pope. Yeah, it, like stands forever. Oh, he had actually a very important role in the eventual freeing of Poland from the communists. Uh, in when he was elected, and I think this was uh, later in late 70s, yeah. he came to Warsaw, and in uh, Platskowskiego, I, I believe you've seen it, and at that cross is where he gave his speech, which said that Poland should be proud of itself, its heritage, and that speech eventually led to the Solidarity Movement uh, getting more and more momentum, and I actually people were able to move well. away from the you know push away the communists with the support of the pope essentially because catholicism and the catholic church plays such a huge part in the culture and the identity of the polish people that he became a huge galvanizing factor in the eventual um separatist movement well cheers man cheers to freedom cheers to freedom. i don't know you gonna say that <laughs> so american what he said americans cheer to freedom as well yeah. That and more beer. That and more beer. Yes. Uh, and I've seen this in Poland as well. I've seen this in every country. When a foreign person tries to speak your language, you make fun of their accent. And that is both natural, I think, because and accurate. Uh, I saw a TV show from the 60s, Wojna Domowa, like Home War. Uh, and it was an old show uh, just during um, the socialist era. And there was one episode where a guest from England came to visit them and he was a relative so he spoke some Polish uh, albeit with a kind of a funny accent uh, and they showed a lot of different stereotypes of Poland and of foreigners in that time and one of them was for example the the way of speaking the the accent uh, as well as some of the prejudices that for example Polish people had for England like they you make up weird things that they all do like for example they they always shower before bed and then they smoke in their pajamas and uh, things which make no sense but maybe someone saw it I mean like come on hey I mean, what, what comes in first in your mind like you know uh, when you say English porn <laughs> I don't watch English porn uh, probably uh, something boring professor. something it's boring, boring. <laughs> a guy with a pipe yeah. Like, you, ma'am, madam, your grade is a bit low, I fear. Yeah. Come to my office, we'll discuss philosophy. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, I don't want to say that I have a travel blog, but I've been, I've wrote some articles on travel blog. Yeah, you did? Um, like, uh, you know, not that many, but it's about travels, and I also try to include insights into different culture about everything. And I'm thinking of making this blog more, because I'm living in Poland now, to make it more Poland-oriented, yeah. and more European politics. Oriented, so I'm thinking, you know, some of this material is pretty good for use of that. So if you wanted to do some sort of video for that, or sure, you know more of that, might be interesting. Because I'm thinking of, because you know, I, I had two channels, yeah, and one got taken down for what? For Being too much of an ass? No, or? No. <laughs> Get out! You're too much uh, of an ass. For the for the uh, copyright strikes, because like I did what the did you do? music, or no, I did the uh, anime live reaction videos. And oh, stuff I like see. That. They took that down. They took it down for for good now. Hmm. Without doing the live reaction, and I also created another channel, which I do more, like I said, smart ass thing. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, to show off. If you wanted to do more politically oriented stuff or just critical reaction stuff, yeah, let's like do like it. this sort of thing, well, I could do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, a few videos or a series or something. I would like that, and of course, I would like to do, add more stuff to, like. My blog, like article, yeah. maybe about the topic. You know, uh, push it out. So, thanks guys for watching. And if you like it, please press the like button and share and subscribe in the comment below. Thank you for very much for listening. I look forward to participating in more videos. If you want to watch like more like a serious kind of stuff? We discuss about like political or like you know like, basically politics and religion. All those things you should not talk about at a dinner table. But we can talk on YouTube, right? So like. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm Japanese and he's American and we're in Parliament and then we can talk about these things. Like, you know, we are a very critical person. If something's not right, we should, I think, we should talk about it. Yeah, so. but I think if anyone agrees or disagrees with us, that's something that could be a comment. Right. Right? Yeah. On the video. So please 
I, if I can, if I can say this, please participate in the discussion. Right. Uh, please add your own views. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you have your own insights, those would only help us and perhaps produce more videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching again, and see you guys later. See you.